everybody, this is Chris. Thank you for joining me. Today we are going to be making some Christmas ornaments. Hey, we're in December now, so it's time to get to it, right? If you haven't started yet. So we are going to make these beautiful uh, tree decorations, these baubles that you're gonna put in your tree. These are in plastic. You can use the same, of course, if, it's, if it was in glass. It's just a little cheaper in plastic, so that's fine. I paid mine about $2, the three of them. So in the beginning, of course, they're completely plain like this, transparent. You're gonna take this part away, of course, and we're going to use the inside. We're gonna leave the outside completely plain, nothing at the outside. And for this, we're gonna use a little bit of glitter. I'm using only two colors. I'm using gold and I'm using this iridescent I know it looks white on uh, on the camera, I'm absolutely sorry, but maybe you're gonna be able to see this. Like AB color, I love this kind of, uh, of glitter because it reflects many other colors, especially when you put them b uh, besides or next to any kind of color, it's gonna take that color too. And it's gonna brighten it up. Like for example, if you can, is it this one? Let me find the one I have used. Yeah, I think it's this one. You have some shades of blue here. That's where I use that white iridescent uh, glitter. And the gold is going to take other colors. I've only used gold, but here you can see it looks gold, but here it's gonna take the color of the, the, the red and it's gonna change it. It's gonna make a very nice transition. It looks green here, but I only used, again, the gold. If you wanna use silver, go ahead. But I think for myself, I'm in love with the color gold. And look at this, how, no, I'm sorry for the, the light here. I can't really do anything more. I'm trying to hide it, but it's not easy. Sorry for the glare, but I really wanna have a lot of light in this room and it's following it wherever I go. I'm absolutely sorry. Look, look at this, look at that, how gorgeous. And it's gonna be different. There's a little gap here, but I like it because you can see through the glitter inside of it, so I don't mind. You don't have to leave gaps, and each and every one of them is gonna be slightly different. This is what, because you have a little bit of control, but not that much. I like it this way too. This one also is really nice. You have more green on this one. And that was my first try, and I'm gonna tell you what not to do. Let's start by this one. Don't use two uh, dark colors, otherwise it's gonna make it look messy. So this one I decided I was gonna stop, and I'm gonna use a little bit of acetone to clean it up a little bit so I'll be able to do it again. So don't waste, you're not gonna waste it, don't worry. Or you can always uh, paint it on the top and do the same on the top of it. But I think doing it in the inside is going to protect it over time a little bit more. And to use the colors, because I wanted this to keep it translucent, I'm just gonna use alcohol ink. So one of my favorite are the piñatas. But you can also use here, I've used uh, Ranger uh, alcohol inks. And this is nice, but you need to work fairly quickly because it's alcohol, it's going to evaporate quite uh, fairly quickly. So take that in mind, keep that in mind. And that's it. The only thing that I haven't got here because it hasn't dried completely is that when it's totally finished, I would recommend using a little bit of varnish. So because these are solvent based, they're alcohol based, use a varnish, a glossy varnish that would be water based because that way you're sure that when you're gonna pour your, your varnish inside, just to make sure that over time, because you're gonna shake it around, the glitter is not gonna fall out, um, it's, it's gonna keep the inside perfect. If you use a solvent base, what might happen is that it's gonna take away your inks. So I guess Mod Podge, Glossy Mod Podge would work for that too because it dries clear. So I'm gonna take another one here. I'm gonna take that part off. So you don't really need to clean it up. You can clean the outside later, but the inside should be fine. And I'm gonna use, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start with the blue because then if I add some yellow, I'll have some green parts. I'll have two colors, three colors with only two uh, inks. So you're just going to put some inside here, put a few drops, and then you're going to swirl your decoration like this. So you're going to spread out all this color and you're gonna do this every time with every color you're gonna put there. 
If you want to leave some gaps, that's totally fine. Like I said, that's totally up to you. And for this part here, I think it's almost good. Before it's completely dry, I'm going to use a spatula and I can also use this one here and put a little bit of glitter inside. And I'm going to use the white because I've seen that the white is going to make it, there's some parts that are going to be lighter and that's what I like. And then again, you're going to spread it around. And if there's too much, you can always put it back. I would not put it back in this container. I'm just going to throw it, dump it here onto my paper because there's not going to be a lot. And you're going to have some darker spots where you have put more ink and the others are going to be brighter and it's going to be very, very shiny. I hope you'll be able to pick that up. Is it zooming on it? Yeah, it's really nice. So we're going to continue. I've got a few little yicky things in here, so let me take these out and I'm going to use something a little smaller. That's what I was looking for. These itty bitty sticks, wooden sticks. Now I'm going to go with a little bit of pink that is going to look actually red and I'm going to pour some inside here too. So let's see and I'm swirling and do you see that how nice this is? It's going to be also coloring the rest of it. I'm going to put a little bit more. I'm swirling it everywhere. I want my color to be. Sorry, I hope you'll be able to still see that on camera. Don't forget the bottom of your um, bottle here. All right, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little bit of that gold. And I'm going to be generous with this one too. And swirl it. I can see that I need some more. And you can't see there's not that much access. And look at that. So this part is also, you also have the glitter. If you want to put some more. Nothing much is going out. Look at this. Isn't this pretty? Oh, I love it. I might use a little bit of plain yellow this time. So as soon as you are finished, please cover it up because it's going to evaporate very quickly. I'm not sure if I'm going to put any green on this one. I'm just maybe going to stick with three colors. We'll see. Give it a little shake. And again. And I'm really covering it up a little bit on the blue. So it's going to look, it's going to have a little green tint to it. I should have maybe a camera underneath, but it's it's hard. And then I'm gonna go again with that color, with the with the yellow, the gold glitter. Oh, that's gonna be just beautiful. So you have a little bit of control, but not that much, which makes again that they're all gonna be a little different. And if you have missed a spot like here, I've got a big spot there that doesn't have anything. Either you leave it as is or let me try if I can put some because when it's dry, it's not going to stick to it any longer. I'm just going to give it a try. And if it didn't stick, well, you just need to pour more on top. I think it's going to be fine, actually. Look at that. Is it on the top? Did I put my fingers everywhere here? Let's see. I think it's maybe on the top of it. I'm going to use this one that comes normally with a pack or you can buy them separately. 
yeah that was on the top of it my hands were not that clean I'm gonna take a little bit more I'm using old paper towels that I don't really use any longer there you go how nice is this I think I've got a little bit more there yeah look at that I love this purpley you know orange it looks really red and then you come to something pinkyish and then it's purple and then it goes to a lighter blue and green and the bottom is perfect and think about doing the bottom too because depending on where your your decoration is in the tree you need to have a nice coverage everywhere and that's just it you leave it to dry completely and you can put a bit more here on the rim i wouldn't really concentrate on that because once you put it back on you're not going to see much so you know don't take don't use you lose your time doing this here and what i might do is because this is silver i don't really mind i might just put a little bit of uh, acrylic gold acrylic paint on top so it'll match perfectly but did you see how fast this was if you use acrylic paint it's going to be opaque and you're you won't be able to see the the glitter so maybe if you really want to use you don't have alcohol inks um you can put just a glossy varnish like mod podge for example that is going to dry clear you put just a tiny bit then you sprinkle all your glitters you can use different glitters and then leave it as so leave it as is if you want to have something kind of a translucent it will work too but I like the 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 way the color behaves can you see this movement here it's a wavy thing I I, I love it and it's so ombre color it, it's you don't have a sharp uh, edge not much actually I really like that that's my favorite place here and what is funny is that the gold looks green and the gold here looks um, I mean the gold glitter just looks orange and red so there you go I mean I couldn't do something any easier than that you've got some that uh, you can find these same plastic bubbles that are in two pieces you know there's two halves and you put them together that would work too it's just that I don't like this the seam that is there on the side all along the all around the ball so you could always cover it up if you that, that's what you have don't go and buy anything else just put a little ribbon on the side to cover the seam and that will look perfect as well so once again when it's completely dry put some varnish to really secure or your glitter uh, I would rather use a glossy varnish uh, inside and then you're good to go and you'll be able to use them this year and next year and put this on a table uh, for a center uh, a center table that would be nice as well or smaller ones as a uh, place uh, placeholder you know place card where you put the names of people that would be nice as a little uh, embellishment that you could also offer this for people and you know what for craft fairs you can make a whole bunch of these because it didn't take a lot of time to do and it's not that expensive glitter is not expensive and this can be expensive but you're not gonna um, use so many drops to do this all right so good crafty ideas to sell again and use plastic because it doesn't break uh, that easily compared to glass but if you want them sell as glass so it's it makes it a little bit more precious go for it as well so please uh, subscribe and give me some thumbs up don't forget to hit the bell button to get all the notifications and also share on social medias on Pinterest on Facebook uh, I would appreciate very much thank you for watching and happy crafting